Hey there folks and welcome to this video, this one here is a general notice now, I start off the week by talking about my plans for the week ahead, look a bit further back and talk about stuff that's on my mind, you can find this week's one timestamped in the description below. And uh, before we get anything else to wear, yes, the same show for three days, it doesn't actually smell, it's quite nice. Um, also, uh, given the result with filler on the weekend, I think I can safely say I can wear this. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, this week. Hopefully I'll finally do that Dakar thing, but the main thing is Formula 1. Preview and review for the Bahrain Grand Prix, and also talk about whatever kind of display that they do for We Races 1. Because they're supposedly doing a display. If his driver's needed again, well, I mean, I'm going to follow this up a little bit in the main bit, but if it is, we'll talk about it. If it's not, we'll talk about it. Simple as that. But, uh, yeah. All my other plans are to just catch up on stuff that I've been missing out on, but I've got some deadlines in the next uh, week and a half, so that's got to be my actual priority, annoyingly. Well, annoyingly, but also quite good for me, because it means I'm doing stuff. As per usual, I'm uh, going to be trying to stream a couple of times this week. You'll find most of them over on my Twitch. but Well, you'll find all of them over on Twitch, but you'll find a lot of them here as well. BUSR... Um, World Tour Mizano, I think. Then Rally is Poland in Group B's. Sebring 12 hours, that's a big one. Johansson racing, that's going to be fun. And yeah. I'll pop a little bit of bobs in here and there. And I asked, I think it's Bristol Dirt, which is going to be cool. Yeah, looking back at the past week. <laughs> Again, hitting a new high on subscribers, that's awesome. Excellent feedback on the things about Drive to Survive. I think, see, the thing was, I actually did, it was cool to watch, to some degree, because it's Formula 1, and people have got an interest in making Formula 1 stuff, but at the same time, compared to the first two seasons, it, I, I have a feeling that my thoughts kind of stand, having talked to a few different people about it, um, here that they're largely quite concurrent, that's a relief for me. Yeah, let's talk about what's on my mind, and it is Formula 1 and the what was the end racism message, which last year had, um, what, 13 of 20 drivers kneeling, originally 14, at every race. And I talked about this a lot, I talked about this at every race, I made a point to it at every race, because there were, well, it was a conversation that F1 was pretending to have, but it wasn't actually having. And it's something I mentioned a little bit in yesterday's video about Drive to Survive because for a sport that was so keen on pushing this end racism and uh, we raised this one message. The early stuff that we had was five minute bit tacked on the end talking about Lewis. And that should have been its own episode. It really should have. They talk about how financial troubles and the pandemic as big issues. Inequality was also a big issue that F1 tried to discuss last year and whether or not it did successfully is another thing. But in my opinion at the very least they should have done more. But like I said it's trying to be it is controversially uncontroversial. And I feel like that's in keeping with F1's message. And I have a feeling that that's how um, F1's going to be when Bahrain happens. There is a needing thing. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to cut away from it like they did in Styria last year. Um, if... Uh, I don't even want to try and guess if anybody's going to change their minds about whether they kneel or not. I'd say it probably stays the same. Um, yeah. That that's the main thing that's going through my mind right now is yeah, it's not going to really be any different. Drivers kneel, drivers kneel. If they don't, they don't because Formula One decided to do a Formula E thing. And at Formula E, who did you have kneeling? It was the Mercedes team and Jeff, I think. Anyway, it was three drivers. 
But then it was the whole Mercedes team did that. The thing is, it's not even that we expect people to do that. At the very least, I expect people to, if they say they, they're committed to a message, actually show they're committed to it. Like, even if that's symbolic, the symbolism goes a distance. Of course, there's more that needs to be done. There's more that can always be done. But that's a start, and if you fail to even do that start, how committed are you to an end racism message? Those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye for now.